Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris. Welcome back to Show and Tell, a little show I do on the weekends to show off bits of my collection. And we're doing Dragon Ball because I got a ton of it, and I'm working my way through. And as you can see, today we will be talking about Cell. I have, uh, it'll be a little bit of a shorter one because I don't have very many cells. And uh, so I'm just going to jump right into it. This little guy over here is the old battle collection. He's pretty simply painted. All of this, the head, neck, torso, legs, all one solid piece. No articulation right there. Uh, the arms are pretty, pretty stiff. No articulation there, except for in the shoulders. Uh, the paint job, you know, pretty basic. The, uh, the, the little green, the dark green dots on him, I always thought it was funny. He looks like, he's got like leopard spots. He's supposed to look like a bug, but he looks like a leopard of some kind <laughs> with the spots. But they're like raised and bumpy, which is kind of neat. Um, yeah, all solid. His eyes are just plain red. With a little bit of a dot in the middle where it looks like there should be pupils. And, uh... It's kind of interesting because these little pieces on the back, the wings and the, uh, I'm going to call it a stinger because at this point that's what it looks like. A little goofy looking stinger. They're actually separate pieces that come off. Um, I'll take it off if I can get it off to show you. Come on. Take it off. Alright, well I know this one's loose. I'll just let that one fall off. Yeah, see there's a little hole, a little hole for those little pieces, the tail and the other Thing. The other one might be super glued, and I may have done that years ago. Um, but that's a pretty neat one, because that's like one of the old original ones. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll save the middle guy for last, because I, I have something interesting to tell you about that guy. That's another one of the perfect cells. Face is a little more accurate, except that his eyes are super... Like, they look like... He looks like he's uh, his cross-eyed. There's a bit of a bluish tint to the... Uh, to where it's supposed to be black. And it's got a weird texture in the wings. Look at that. You see that weird, rough texture in the wings? That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Why they would decide to put all that jaggedy stuff in the in the wing there. He's got an odd stance. Like, his, his arm is, you know, stuck in that weird position. This one kind of makes a little more sense, because he could be grabbing something or whatever. Hey, but he's like, he turns, but like, look at his legs. He's like... He's off. He's leaning like, he's leaning strangely, in my opinion, anyway. And, and then the, the bit of blue, the, the bluish tint is kind of throws me off a little bit. And I don't believe these wings come off, do they? Oh, maybe they do. Do they come off? No, they don't come off. I'm not going to rip that. <laughs> There's a little bit less definition in his little spiky, his little spiky thing on the back where his tail used to be. A little stinger. Uh, and he actually came with the little guy here. I'm not even going to bother standing him up. He's the, the people that made that were weird. Look at the goofy face, little Cell Junior. He poops out the little Cell Juniors, and then uh, they run around and kill people. I think he poops out seven of them. I, I like it. I think he's he's neat. It's, I think it's neat. It came with that that cell that I just showed you. He's got little stubby wings, and he kind of faces toward the ground when you stand him up. So you got to kind of look at him from a <laughs> look at his stupid face. He's like, Duke, no, no, what do you want me to do, Dad? <laughs> I always thought it was weird that they were blue and he was green, but still pretty neat. You know, I mean, there's not a whole lot to say about him. It's he's one solid, one solid little dude. Now, this one here that comes in this box back here, and I will show you that momentarily. Really, really beautiful figure. It's one of those super super well done, well made figures, the box it came in, yeah, second form cell. It's got uh, neat little images on the sides and uh, on the back here, I think it's all, all Japanese stuff and it looks like tw uh, Android 20 was in, in the same series of these guys when they were making the, uh, making them. All right, now what I have to say about this one is very, very upsetting to me because it is a beautiful, beautiful figure. Look at all the, the little definitions. Look at his, his eyes. Look at his, look at his tongue hanging out. Okay, 
So, the thing about this one that is so upsetting is that he does not stand up for crap. Look at this guy. Look at him. Look at him. Standing up? Okay, good. See? Just barely standing up. And he comes with these little... These little guys that are supposed to help him stand up, and they barely do anything. He comes like they knew that it was a badly uh, stabilized figure when they made it, so they put these little things in to try and keep it stable, but they really don't help very much. He's very, very forward heavy. He wants to fall over constantly. I love the shiny... I love all the shiny paint job that they did. Um, you can see his tail. Super awesome. Really, really well made figure. But just, yeah, it just really makes me sad that they didn't, that they put all the effort into making this as cool as it could possibly look. And then the, a fatal flaw to just have him barely be able to stand. Barely be able to stand. Like, he's standing okay right now, but he's very, very forward heavy. And it's kind of ridiculous. I really enjoy this one. It's super, just fabulously done. Well, well done to the people who created this, other than making him nearly impossible to stand up. And, uh, that's all I have to say about the cells. And, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Leave, uh, leave a like and a comment if you did. Let me know what you think. Um, I will let you know what is going to be talked about next weekend, right now. The Wizard Bobbity and his minions! Thanks guys, catch you next time.